Hello everyone, it's Pat at Beads and Plenty More, and today I'm going to show you how to make an ombre necklace, which I've picked out some strands here that I felt went nicely together, and so we go from light to dark or dark to light, it's either way can go. So I've got some combos already mixed here, and I find that if you just put them together like this in a little group, it helps you to see whether they work together. So they look, the blue series looks quite nice together. And then I had another combo here that I thought looked really good too, which is the hematite and gray and crystal. So that would be another one that would work really good. And we're going to use a tiger wire that's uh, 0.7 and 0 0.015. That's worked really well for the size. I'm using a six millimeter bead. So I'm also gonna show you how to work with a bead board. So I'll bring this bead board in and I've got this necklace started. Um, the thing that I had to do was decide, first of all, how long I wanted the necklace. And I wanted it to be 18 inches long. So I go to the nine here or the 18 here and uh, feed on the beads onto a piece of tiger wire to find out how long I get with the grouping. And I established that I needed to do five beads times four uh, colors in order to get my length. So once I've established the length that I want, then I can start making the necklace. And I've used spacer beads too, so when I decided that length, I also had to use the spacer beads. So uh, another type of spacer bead that works really well is the uh, hematite beads too. Oops. So these guys we're going to feed on and uh, go in between each one of my groupings. And the bead board works really well because you can set up your beads. I've got five more of this color and uh, down here in the corner five more of that color and this corner I've got five of the light colors at the end. So that way you can make sure that you use exactly the right number and don't make a mistake and, and uh, put one extra of something. Uh, however, don't worry about making it exact either. You, if you find it's a little bit too long or too short, you can always add and, and subtract at the very end. So I'm going to stop now and I'll finish uh, stringing all these colors and then I'll show you how we're going to finish the end. Okay, I'm back. I finished stringing the necklace. So I'm going to lift it up and take the beadboard away because I only need to work with the uh, ends here now to uh, finish. And I'm going to put um, a crimp bead. I'm, I'm using tube crimps today. And uh, then I'm going to have a, an extender chain, a lobster, and the crimp covers. And again, these crimping pliers. So we'll go ahead and put one crimp bead is all you need with crimp tubes, which is a big advantage of the crimp tubes. So we'll slide that down, and put the clasp on, and slide my tube up. I like to hold my finger on the tube so that it, the open side is up. It makes it much, much easier to slide the second side of the um, tiger wire in. So we'll run that up. We want to leave a little bit of a gap so that there's some movement. Give it just a little bit less gap. There we are. And always be sure that my tagger wire is sitting uh, parallel, one beside the other, not overlapping. So we'll get these two like that, and make, there it is, sitting the right way. Good to hold the thumb and forefinger there. Now, crimping pliers. We want to go into the piece that the back first and then the front after. So into this back part, and I squeeze down, and that will when I turn this over now, I get that dip in the center and that then goes in the middle, the front one, and squeeze it closed and I use the tips of the pliers to even tighten that a little bit more. There we are. Get it nice and tight. So then we'll give it a little tug to make sure there's no slippage on there and we're going to put the crimp cover. Actually, I'm going to close that up a bit more yet. Come from the top. There we are. Now, in goes the crimp cover. 
And these same pliers are ideal for closing up a crimp cover because they have the little rounded part at the front. Oh. Slip that crimp cover over top. Again, hold it with your thumb and forefinger. Go in with the front part of the crimp plier and give it a squeeze. And always do this in, in two or three steps to make sure that those two will end up matching up nicely. A little bit more to close it totally. There we are. So that kind of looks like a round bead, which is ideal. So I'm going to do the same on the other side to attach that it, the extender chain and we'll have a beautiful necklace. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.